angry guy here and women are crying because feminism has failed them and men are abandoning them. Women are crying because feminism has failed them and men have abandoned them. I mean, it's crazy. Let's just go ahead and jump into this first video. Do you think you have the leverage to tell a guy that also has money that he has to be monogamous to you when you have a child? Can you repeat that? You are a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Let's say you meet a guy that's also a millionaire or a multimillionaire, okay? Probably knowing you, he has to be a multimillionaire. He's attractive, etc. Other women want mm -hmm. him. Uh, do you think you can tell him he must be monogamous to you when you also have money and you have a kid, which actually hurts you as a woman? I gotta step out. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, we'll take a take a breather and then come back and answer the question. Uh, can I finish? Uh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. What are you saying? I think it's more, ahead, uh, uh, but Mom. also the Mom. high value man is gonna be a the father of the house for my whatever. If I have a daughter or a son, why are right. you laughing? Like what? you, man, immature. Hey, 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 hey. You know, guys, let me tell you something. So many, many years ago, like ten years ago, when I wanted to go to medical school and I wanted to go into uh, wanted to be a physician, you know, I had a tutor. Of course, he was Asian, and I want to tell you about this guy. He was actually he was also applying to medical school, and here's how crazy things went for this guy. This guy was joining was going to join the military he was going to join the military and he was going to have the military pay for medical school and then by the military paying for med medical school he would go to medical school and then serve in the military for for like a bunch of years and that's and that's basically how it works you can become a commissioned officer and they'll pay for your education but in return you have to serve for I don't know, remember if it's like five or ten years as a as a doctor in the military. And this guy was literally ballistic. Like I spoke to him, like, dude, are you are you all right? Like, how much are you doing? And this is the life of a man. Like, men do whatever they have to do to survive. This guy was like studying around the clock. He was living almost like a scumbag to become a physician. And he was Asian. All right. And of course, you know, guys. It's just crazy. And then after all that work, after all that work and all that struggling, this woman who has an only fools and is a millionaire and a single mother will turn around and say that she deserves a man better than him. She deserves a man who is a multimillionaire and can provide for her and her child more. More than she already has doing only fools. And she is equal or better than this man who was living as almost a scumbag to become a physician. This is mad this is madness. This is madness, madness, madness. Like guys, a lot of doctors live like scumbags to become doctors. It's it's insane. The lives that these people live sometimes, and it's not just doctors. It they're they're engineers. Uh, I mean, it's so, so many different walks of life. Like the things that men go through to become who they are, to 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 build themselves, to create their create their value. The things that they pass through in life, only for some woman to say that you're not good enough, and. What I've done, me selling feet pics and making $50,000 a month selling feet pics is equivalent to you giving up 12 years of your life. And, and so in many cases, and in some cases, spending half a million dollars so that you can then go make $200,000 a year and be told that you're not equal to me. I am better than you. Or I'm, or, or, or it's the same. I'm providing the same amount of value to the world that you are. 
I, it, it's things like this that just leave me saying, you know what? Enough is enough. Shout out to MK Fitness. He says, I just finished my own live stream talking about boomers lying about the cost of living in the Philippines because they're, they're scared of younger password girls moving in on their turf. Guys, don't trust these people. Don't trust the boomers, all right? Don't trust them. They're the reason why we have the society that we have today. Shout out to Christopher. He says, angry guy keeps spitting facts. My bro, thank you so much, man. No, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. The kind of system that we are living in today, the kind of reality that we're living in today. While I'm getting ready for surgery and everything, it dawned on me that I'm 46 years old and I don't have a husband to take care of me. Being single and 46 sucks. It just sucks. And I make jokes about buffoons that I have been encountering in, in dating. But in reality, this is, this is my reality. <laughs> All these women are here who adapt this idea, this feminist ideology and think that men ain't shit and that they're strong and independent and that they can pay their own bills and carry their own way and have their own careers. They will all face this exact same reality right over here, man. Oh, man, don't nobody want to be alone when you got health issues. Believe me when I tell you, man, your friends, they ain't really going to be around there. You know, but a man, a man is going to be there for you 24-7 looking out for you and taking care of you, man. Guys. So she just she admitted it that she would sit around and she would basically speak poorly of men. And now she has her health issues and she has no one to be there for her, no one to take care of her, no one to help her. But all those dudes that she rejected and called goofy and spoke poorly of, they're not around anymore. All these men are walking away, grabbing their passport, going overseas. MK says, I also talked about the comment on your last video that said 815,000 passport issued, passports issued in 2023 in the States. Guys, almost 1 million passports have been issued in 2023 alone. Almost 1 million. Someone did a calculation. Someone did a calculation on one of my videos. I wish I saved it. And they basically calculated that something like $5 billion is leaving the country every year from just black men walking outside, leaving Western society. Five billion dollars from just black guys doing the passport road thing. What happens when the passport Joes start picking up and taking off? What happens when passport Joe says, I'm done, I'm not doing this anymore? What happens when all the white guys pick up and leave? Because black guys are taking $5 billion from the economy, walking away. What happens when all the white guys pick up and leave? Guys, we are heading towards some very uncharted waters. They're going to pass laws. Guys, this, you know, I talked about this with MK Fitness, and he said, I believe he suggested this, and it's absolutely true. You know, this that whole wall thing that we're building, it's not keeping anyone out. It's keeping us in. And guys, there's a saying, never waste a good crisis. You know what they're really going for right now, right? What they're really going, what they're really trying to create is a system where you're stuck in, you're stuck in your country. That's what they want. That's what they want. They want to make it harder to travel. They want to make it harder for you to leave the country. Oh, the, the wealthy will always be able to go wherever, wherever they want to go. But for the average person, that's why I said, get your passport. If your passport's going to, if your, if your passport needs to be renewed, go and renew it. But don't waste your time. Don't wait until it's too late. I have my passport. I have I have two years left of my passport. I have two years left of my passport, and I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait too long to renew it because I'm going to renew it over the next year. 
because you don't know what's going to happen. And the whole thing is, first, they're going to make it harder to get a passport. It's already hard getting a passport for a lot of guys right now, waiting months because they didn't expedite it. However, what they're doing, what they're going to do, the powers that be is they don't want you leaving your country anymore. They're going to stomp the South. Yo, wait, you're going to go overseas and do this? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. We're not going to let you go. We're going to make it harder for you to go. And they'll do it in various different ways, using hidden hidden taxation. Make it, you know, they'll make it more difficult to leave the country. And they'll say that it's because of it's because of what's happening in the world. Don't you see what's happening in the world right now? Don't you see what's happening? We have to be diligent and we have to be careful. We have to take extra precautions. And who are the ones responsible for this? The boomers. You think the boomers really want you leaving, by the way? Because every dollar that you take out of the country is a dollar less that goes into the tax system. And it's a, that's a dollar less that will go towards paying their pay, go, that will go towards paying their, their social security. Look at what the, the, the boomers did to the millennials, having them go and get these terrible college degrees that many of them are no longer even needed. Because companies like Google, Microsoft, Apple, are hiring people, Amazon, are hiring engineers, paying them $200,000, $300,000, $800,000 a year with no college degree. You want to work for Google? Go and get a certificate. You can get a certificate in all these different subjects right now. Cybersecurity, data science, pay 50 bucks a month. And they would prefer that you have a certificate that you can complete in one to two months if you work hard enough, if you're diligent. They would rather that you have a certificate that you can complete in one to two months than a four-year degree where you learn absolutely nothing and nothing that is applicable to working for these companies. The boomers robbed the millennials. They robbed their futures. And what are they trying to do now? They're trying to ensure that no one can leave because they need you to keep paying into the system so they can keep riding that gravy train into the sunset. And the saddest reality that we have to understand about the boomers is that the youngest boomers are 59 years old. And you have to remember that there's a lot of Gen Xers that are on the cusp of the boomers. So they may not be boomers, but they still have some of the ideals of the boomers. So for many of us, we will never be rid of the boomers in our lifetime because as one boomer go, as one boomer leaves, another takes their place. All of Congress is filled with boomers and that's not going to change for the next 30 years because as one boomer leaves, another boomer will take their place. And they're just going to keep it going and going and going. You know what the estimate is? The estimate is that the last of the baby boomers will leave this earth in 2082. It sounds ridiculous. It sounds ridiculous, but it is believed that the last of the boomers will leave this earth in 2082. We will not, we will not, 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 not have a situation where the boomers just vanish. They will be with us. For the rest of our lives, they will be with us controlling everything for the rest of our lives. While we were, when we were kids, they put our grandparents when they turned, when they were pushing 60 into nursing homes. And now they're in their 70s and they have all the money and all the power and they're keeping it amongst themselves. Who raised these young women? Who raised these young women to become feminist? It was the boomers. This behavior, this narcissism, where did they get it from? They got it from their daddy. I, I, I tell you, I cannot, I can't stand it. I am so disgusted by the reality of it. It's so embarrassing that I'm crying. Why am I bawling my eyes out? I thought I was going to use this in a video, and now I'm like, no, I'm crying too hard. <laughs> Guys, women are crying because feminism has failed them and men are abandoning them. What do you think regarding this? I want to hear your thoughts in the comments. 
Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away. And cheers.